Another day, again, the search continued with uh, all the deployments we had massively and supported by the local vigilante and local uh, hunters. The helicopter didn't stop its own. Was we still had air surveillance that was uh, massively and thoroughly conducted around the bushes, taking coordinates and geolocations. Well, as God will have it this morning, the first victim, who is the woman, was rescued very early this morning and she has since joined her family at the Redeemed uh, Church of God. The remaining four men, uh, the search continued for them. The pressure was mounted. The policemen lined up all through. And again, as God will have it, they were equally rescued on hot. That is to say, the five persons that were kidnapped were all rescued on hot. One thing I want to draw the attention of Nigerians to is to clear the air that the five of them are pastors of the redeemed Church of Christ or Church of God, sorry. At the time the information filtered, we, we like the police, we did not have any reason to join issues with anyone because first and foremost uh, they were taken into the bush nobody knew their identity except their relatives started calling and at that point we did not want to say whether they are all pastors or not but as at now the story is that only the woman is a dickiness of the redeemed and she has since joined her redeem camp colleagues and uh, her family as well enemy because it's uh, it looks nice for me to stand here before you you needed to see me when i got rescued i was uh, i was manhandled i was ruffled i was tortured name it it's 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 it's, it's horrible where this country is driving at it's horrible because these gentlemen shot for like one hour on the road until policemen arrived and they ran away and they took us inside the bush from thursday to this morning and that, well i want to use the opportunity to um, appreciate the police because the pressure they gave them led into them letting us go because if there was no pressure they would have had a field day why am i saying this because when we were held there we were put in a swamp we slept in a swamp with all manner of insects and reptiles. And we were moving us, we moved like 30 kilometers inside the jungle where nobody has treaded upon. They were comfortable there. They had very dangerous firepower. Ammunitions, name it. They had sacks and sacks of life ammunitions. But the moment we saw police uh, helicopter that descended very low right above our heads, the criminals, um, the kidnappers, took to their heels and hit at some point and they started becoming uh, they started being erratic you know they knew that some people were on their trail i also want to use this vein as well to appreciate the uh, local uh, vigilante group or hunters they were always coming out there to nose around we used to see them but they, they couldn't there are some areas they couldn't get to because they thought there was no human being there but that is where we were Seven six two two. 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 Se